a livery is a uniform, insignia or symbol adorning, in a non-military context, a person, an object or a vehicle that denotes a relationship between the wearer of the livery and an individual or corporate body. Often, elements of the heraldry relating to the individual or corporate body feature in the livery. Alternatively, some kind of a personal emblem or badge, or a distinctive color, is featured. The word itself derives from the French livre copyright e, meaning dispensed, handed over. Most often it would indicate that the wearer of the livery was a servant, dependent, follower or friend of the owner of the livery, or, in the case of objects, that the object belonged to them. The phrase to sue one's livery refers to the formal recognition of a noble's majority, in exchange of payment, for conferring the powers attached to his title, and thereby freeing him from dependence as a ward. Etymology, in the 14th century, livery referred to an allowance of any kind, but especially clothes provided to servants and members of the household. Such things might be kept in a livery cupboard. During the 14th century specific colors denoting a great person and often with a device or badge sewn on, began to be used for both his soldiers and his civilian followers, and the modern sense of the term began to form. Usually two different colors were used together, but the ways in which they were combined varied with rank. Often the colors used were different each year. As well as embroidered badges, metal ones were sewn onto clothing, or hung on neck chains or livery collars. From the 16th century, only the lower status followers tended to receive clothes in livery colors and the term servant, previously much wider, also began to be restricted to describing the same people. Municipalities and corporations copied the behavior of the great households. The term is also used to describe badges, buttons and grander pieces of jewelry containing the heraldic signs of an individual, which were given by that person to friends, followers and distinguished visitors, as well as servants. The grandest of these is the livery collar. William, Lord Hastings the favorite of King Edward IV of England had a collar of gold of K. Edward's liveries valued at the enormous sum of A. forty pounds in an inventory of 1489. This would have been similar to the collars worn by Hastings' sister and her husband Sir John Dunn in the Dunn triptych by Hans Memling. Lords gave their servants lead or pewter badges to sew onto their clothes. In the 15th century European royalty sometimes distributed uniform suits of clothes to courtiers, as the House of Fugger, the leading bankers, did to all employees. This practice later contracted to the provision of standardized clothing to male servants, often in a color scheme distinctive to a particular family. The term most notably referred to the embroidered coats, waistcoats, knee breeches and stockings in 18th century style worn by footmen on formal occasions in grand houses. Plainer clothing in dark colors and without braiding was worn by footmen, chauffeurs and other employees for ordinary duties. For reasons of economy the employment of such servants, and their expensive dress, died out after World War I except in royal households. Modern Usage From this core meaning, multiple extended or specialist meanings have derived. Examples include a livery company is the name used for a guild in the City of London. Members of the company were allowed to dress their servants in the distinctive uniform of their trade, and the company's charters enabled them to prevent others from embarking upon the trades within the company's jurisdiction. Following on from the decoration of horse-drawn carriages, a livery is the common design and paint scheme a company will use on its vehicles, often using specific colors and logo placement. In this sense, the term is applied to railway locomotives and rolling stock, ships, aircraft, and road vehicles. For example, United Parcel Service has trucks with a well-known brown livery. Another example is the British Airways ethnic liveries. The term has become extended to the logos, colors and other distinctive styles of companies in general. See also trade dress. Vehicle livery can be used to promote a brand or for unrelated advertising compared to the goods contained in the vehicle. This can enable companies to become iconic as a result of their livery. An example is Eddie Stobart trucks which have a deal with Corgi to sell replicas of their trucks with livery. The practice is very common with few brands not taking advantage of putting livery on their fleet. A livery is the specific paint scheme and sticker design used in motorsport, on vehicles 
in order to attract sponsorship and to advertise sponsors. See for example Formula One sponsorship liveries. Aircraft livery is also the term describing the paint scheme of an aircraft. Most airlines have a standard paint scheme for their aircraft fleet, usually prominently displaying the airline logo or name. From time to time special liveries are introduced, for example prior to big events. A livery vehicle remains a legal term of art in the U.S. and Canada for a vehicle for hire, such as a taxicab or chauffeured limousine, but excluding a rented vehicle driven by the renter. In some jurisdictions a livery vehicle covers vehicles that carry up to 15 passengers, but not more, thus including a jitney but excluding an omnibus or motor coach. This usage stems from the hackney cabs or coaches that could be provided by a livery stable. By extension, there are boat livery companies for the hire of watercraft. Canada has many businesses offering canoe livery. A livery stable looks after the care, feeding, stabling, etc., of horses for pay. Historic military usage, the term livery is now rarely applied in a military context, so it would be unusual for it to refer to a military uniform or the painting of a military vehicle. Early uniforms were however regarded as a form of livery in the late 17th and early 18th centuries. During this period officers of the French Guard du Corps petitioned successfully that they not be required to wear uniform while on duty at Versailles, since this livery suggested that they were servants rather than aristocrats. The modern military equivalent for livery is the term standard issue. Used when referring to the colors and regulations required in respect of any military clothing or equipment. References <laughs>